boys and girls. Henry and I have something so exciting for you this week. We can't wait to show you what we found here at Hudson Crossing. You want to take a guess what it is? Well, you know what it is, obviously. It's turtles. This is one of our favorite times of year because you know what is out and about here at Hudson Crossing? Northern map turtles. Northern map turtles are really cool and very, very special animals because there aren't that many in New York State. Northern map turtles are on the New York State watch list, which means over the past few years, there have been fewer and fewer of them being born. And that's something we wanna help make sure doesn't continue to happen. So over here, you can see a mama northern map turtle laying her eggs. Northern map turtles are called northern map turtles because if you look at the back of their shell, the lines on their shells kind of look like the lines on a map. Now, northern map turtles love sandy soil like this because it gives them a great place to dig and lay their eggs. And it's very, very important that those nests aren't disturbed by animals like dogs or other wild animals. Now, northern map turtles usually lay about six to 20 eggs per nest. That can be a lot of eggs. And mama map turtles will lay up to two nests per season. Now you can see this mama is laying her eggs right now. And she's dug a little hole in the sand here and she is going to cover up her eggs after she lays them to keep them safe and protected. And those eggs won't come out and be hatched until the fall. Sometimes if the eggs are really late to be hatched, they'll actually, all the baby turtles will spend the winter right in the nest and they won't go back to the river until the, things, the ground warms up in the spring. You can see this turtle just finished laying her eggs and she's covered up her nest so it's nice and safe. And if you look really closely, you can see she's actually had some damage to her shell that's all healed. Isn't that interesting? Instead of just being completely round, it's got that little dent in it, but it doesn't bother her at all. You can see she's hiding from us. She's just waiting for me to go away so she can go back to the river. So we'll let her go back. Here we are at the river. This is where our map turtle friends start their journey. They have a long way to go to get to where they want to lay their nests. And I think you know how fast turtles move. So it takes them a pretty long time, but that's okay. They're focused and they're ready for the journey. I started my portion right down here in the secret garden by the Hudson River. And I'm going up the path, which is pretty steep, especially if you think about it for a little turtle's legs. But look, right up here, there's a mama turtle who's made it all the way this far. She's not letting anything slow her down. Soon she'll be in the sand and she will be laying her eggs. Once you start looking, map turtles can be pretty easy to spot. It's important to give them their space and let them do their thing. But you can, if you're being very, very careful, come and check them out for a second. They're a little shy. But that's just the way turtles are. Just on Henry and my visit to the park today, we found seven map turtles. We're all busy getting ready to lay their eggs. So next time you come to the park, if it's sometime soon, see if you can find any. And if you do, once you start seeing them, I bet you'll start to see more. So let, so let us know how many northern map turtles you see on your next visit to Hudson Crossing.